What's up guys, it's Kelly and today I've got another swatch and review for you. Today we're doing our first Halloween collection of the year and that is the Sinful Colors Wicked Neons collection. So if you're asking yourself the same way I ask myself, is there such a thing as Halloween neons? The answer is yes, there totally is. This collection contains four of them. So we've got four Halloween neons and then we have four corresponding glitters. And all of these polishes are actually blacklight reactive, which makes them super Halloween-y if you ask me. So this collection was also done in collaboration with singer slash songwriter BB Rexa. So again, we do have three BB shades, which I'll be showing you first. And then we have the rest of the collection, but it is all a super cohesive collection. So let's just get started with the swatches. So as always, I am just using using base coat underneath all of my swatches. This is the Cuccio base coat, which I will link in the description for anybody who is interested. So first up in this collection, we have a BB shade, and this one is called Witch Please. It is a super bright neon pink cream shade. It started off a little bit thin, and it did have sort of a jelly-like consistency to it, but I was able to build it up into full coverage in three coats. Now, normally you guys know I don't like three coaters, but I am a lot more forgiving of drugstore nail polishes. Something else you guys may notice in my videos because of course if a polish is less expensive I don't expect it to perform as perfectly as some of the more expensive polishes so with cheaper polishes like this you can totally afford to do three coats and it not be a problem I also love because of this neon formula they did dry super quick and it looked really cute so I still like it next we have glow for it which is the corresponding glitter topper another BB shade and this one's actually the most interesting and unique of the toppers in this collection because this one is actually filled with pink hex glitters as well as some rose gold little shards and I love that I think these look so cool so I love the way that this looks over the pink but I also love it over dark colors Next up, we have the shade Blue in the Dark, which is their Neon Sky Blue shade. Again, this one started off a little bit sheer, but I was able to build it up in full coverage with three coats. For these polishes, you totally can use a white base coat if you want to, but if I can reach full opacity with a polish with just painting it on without a white base coat, I always prefer to do that because I just hate doing a white base coat for polishes because I always feel like you can see a little bit of white around the edges. So I'm personally not a fan of that. You guys are totally welcome to do that, this collection is totally fine for that or you can wear it as a full coverage polish for me this one still ended up being just a tiny bit sheer and you could see a little bit of my visible nail line but I'm actually into that jelly like finish so I didn't mind it at all next up we have the shade magic hack which is a super beautiful blue metallic glitter topper and I absolutely love this one I love having these one color toppers I think they are so fun for nail art but I also think this looks so good just wearing it over one color as just its own layer and I think it looks so cute as an accent nail as well. Next up, we have the shade Techno Violet, which is a beautiful neon purple that leans with a little bit of a pinky undertone to it. As you probably could guess, this was definitely my favorite of the creams in this collection. I totally loved it. On the first coat, it looked a little pinky, but as I was building it up, up to that third coat with full coverage, it did turn more and more purple, and I just love this color. It screams Halloween to me. I love purple and orange for Halloween, especially when they're this kind of like super warm undertone purple. One thing to note about this color though, I did notice that it was a tiny bit staining, so I would be careful and definitely wear a base coat and make sure you have a nice thick coat of base coat when you're wearing this color to avoid stains on your nails. Next up we have the shade Cyber Witch, which is the corresponding glitter topper in purple metallic hex glitters, and just another one classic color that I totally love. With these polishes, of course you can always sponge them on to get full coverage, and I did sponge them on to do a glitter gradient, which I'll show you guys in a little bit, but I just, I absolutely love these one color toppers. I just want to have one in every single color. Next up we have the shade Witch's Brew, which is a lime green neon cream shade, and this is another one that gave gave me full coverage in three coats and another one that I can totally rock for Halloween. I feel like it is so bright. It looks like slime. I love it. It definitely feels super Halloween-y to me. I don't know if I even mentioned it, but these polishes are all blacklight reactive. So all of these polishes show up really cool. If you're going to a blacklight party, these are definitely the polishes to wear for it. But yeah, so I did end up getting full coverage in three coats and I totally love the way this color looks. Again, totally a color I would pair with like a purple or an orange just to get that super Halloween-y vibe and I just 
just love the way that it looks on the nails. And last but definitely not least, we have the shade Wicked Gaze, which is the corresponding glitter topper for the green. And these little hex glitters actually almost look like teal, and I love them. I think they look so cool. I think they look awesome over the green, but I think these will look even better over black because they would kind of like sparkle through and just look really bright and exciting. And I don't know, as with all the other glitters, I totally love it. <laughs> so yeah, those are the polishes. I really like it. I like the originality of this collection. I've definitely never seen Halloween neons before, and I love the idea of doing that as a collection. I also love those matching glitters. I think I'm not really a person who just like wears like a light coat of glitter over my nail polishes, but I do like the idea of it matching. But I love having like one colored glitters for nail art specifically. I just recently did in my fall compilation video, you'll see I use like orange and yellow glitters. So I love having more solid glitter colors to add to my collection. So I totally love these. And like I said, I am more forgiving of the less expensive nail polishes because I don't expect them to perform the same as like a $10 nail polish or a $15 nail polish. So these nail polishes retail for $1.99 each. They are available at Walmart. If they're available online, I'll put a link down below, but I think these might be in-store exclusives. So I'll check on that and I'll let you know in the description. So I also had an opportunity to actually go to the launch party for these polishes, which I did vlog. I'll put it up here. I believe it's going up around the same time as this video, but I got to meet Baby Rexo, which was really cool. And we got to take some pictures of our nails together. So I'll be posting all that stuff on Instagram if I haven't already. You guys can check out my Instagram. It's at Kelly Marissa, which is my name. <laughs> so yeah, go check that out. You can also see in the vlog and hopefully in the Instagram post, the nail art that I did with these, I actually did each color on my nails with the corresponding glitter as a gradient. So I really love the way that turned out. I kind of want to do a tutorial on it. So let me know in the comments if you guys are interested in that. But yeah, I would love to know your thoughts on this collection in general, which you guys think of the idea of Halloween neons or blacklight reactive polishes, because that's also pretty cool. I wish I had a blacklight so I could show you guys, but you'll, you can see it in the vlog. So check that out. But yeah, let me know what you think of the collection. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy my swatch and review videos and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. So fun fact, and I'm thinking of this one because I went to the launch party and I was like super nervous the whole time. And uh, that is something that you guys really get wrong about me all the time. And that is that I'm an introvert. A lot of people assume that I'm very like extroverted because I feel like I'm, I'm pretty talkative. And you know, whenever I'm in a social situation, I try to be like, you know, good about it, but I really am an introvert. It drains me so much to like be social for so long. And I feel like even on weekends, like I can't do two social days in a row. Like I need a day of social and then a day to recuperate and, and gather my energy back up. Cause I'm really an introverted person. Like if I could, I would just stay home all day and just be in silence. I love that. <laughs> I really like, I, I get my energy from like being alone and like being able to, I don't know, like gather my thoughts and stuff. But yeah, so totally an introvert. It terrifies me to do events like that, but I, I always love doing it. I think it's super fun and I'm really appreciative of the opportunities that I get, but I totally freak out and then the next day I need like a vacation. And I'm the same way, like on vacations, I need a vacation from my vacation. So like if I go away somewhere, I like need a couple of days to like recharge from the socialness of going on vacation. <laughs> Unless it's like a just doing nothing vacation, which I love those. All right, that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.